This is our meat with mercy. I'm gonna show you how to turn this hog into a big table full of 150 pounds of organic meat. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. It's been six months that we've been raising our hog. We bought him as a little baby. And you wanna get him till they're around 200 pounds. That's supposedly the sweet spot to butcher him. He's, he's over 200 pounds, but this one grew really fast and really good. So I'm so excited about this hog. And so we're gonna show you the process, exactly what we do when we take the hog in to be butchered. It's very simple and anybody can do it. The first step is to load them into the trailer. I'm gonna show you how we do that. The first thing I do is I don't feed him dinner. Last night I didn't feed him dinner. So this morning I know he's hungry and then I can manipulate him with food really easily. So that's what I'm gonna do now. We're gonna leave with the hog and come home with boxes and boxes of meat. All right, so I'm gonna remove the wood chips just so it's clean where he eats. Because even though I'm going to eat them, I try to be nice to them. I'm just going to put these two cans of food right there. Now he's going to smell that and he's going to get in the trailer all by himself. It's very easy. Okay, open the gate. Come here, piggy. Come on, piggy. Come on. Come on, it smells good in here. Come on, piggy. Come on, piggy. Good boy. Come on, it's all in here. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a good boy. Come on, it's all right here, a whole pile. Good boy, come on. He can't get his leg up there. Here, we gotta pull away. Here, you hold this so we can pull away and you can keep him in there. <laughs> I'm running. Okay, he's in there. That took about five minutes. It was so easy. If you don't feed them the night before and they're hungry, they have a reason to get in the trailer for a delicious meal. There he is, nice and safe in the trailer. Well, I hope we make it to the gas station because my truck is beeping low fuel. Oh. When I raise a hog, I don't give the hog anything. I don't give it any vaccinations. I don't give it any medication. It is a true organic hog. Once we get to the place, what we do is we back the trailer up to this little chute. It's up to us to get the little hog into his own little stall with his own number. And then we go inside and we fill out the cut list. And after all that's done, they'll call us in about a week and we'll go pick up all our meat. A cut list is like an order form of all the different parts of the pig and how you want each cut up and how thick you want your hams fresh which is called a picnic ham or you want them smoked and how thick you want your pork chops it's how much sausage you want if you want your big ham cut in half or you want the whole ham all right we're back and this is what we have we got pork chops we got sausage we got bacon we got ham i am so so thrilled and excited. I love to raise a hog. I love to cook. This is high, high, high quality food. You can't get any better than this. And we did it ourselves. It's just thrilling. I highly recommend it to all the homesteaders out there.
We put all the meat on the table here because I want to explain to people exactly what they get from a hog. A lot of people have a misconception that you just get tons of meat from a hog and then they'll be disappointed when they raise one and take it in. So this is really how it works. First, I'll just quickly explain what we have here. Two Boston butts. This is a whole ham cut in half. The reason we didn't get two hams or four halves is because we put the meat, the lean meat into this sausage, which we really like. So we got a lot of the sausage. I get the neck bones, the smoked bones, which there's quite a few packs of those because I like to make the split pea soup in beans. And that's wonderful when you're cooking that. This here is all the packs of bacon. Next, we have pork chops. There are six per pack. And as you can see, there's lots of packs of pork chops. And then down here, we have the two packs of spare ribs, which we have them cut. So we'll cook those two. And if you can see, just pounds and pounds and pounds of sausage. Each one of these little packs of three links is a pound of sausage. So there's a lot of sausage there. Our hog weighed 247 pounds. So when you put it on the trailer and take it in there and they have the hog, that's how much the hog weighs. They weigh it right away when they're butchering it, when they're slaughtering it. And then from that 247 pound hog, we weighed this so we know it's perfectly accurate. We got 150 pounds of meat. So there was 97 pounds of waste, which the key is, which I'm like this, the key is it's high quality organic meat. So we are thrilled with our meat that we got from our hog. It's good family food. I showed you every step of the way. It's totally doable for any family to build a pen and raise a hog of their own so they can get some good, healthy, organic meat for their family. Watch the first video I showed you on how to pick out your hog and going to get the hog. And then this is number two. We've showed you the entire process so you can raise your own family hog. I'm so excited and I hope everybody tries it. It's well worth the effort. All right, that's enough of looking at my meat. I have to go get it in the freezer now. Bye. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to beckyshomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email me and Doodles. Happy homesteading. Bye-bye. Okay, we were so tired from going to the meat at the butcher's and taking care of it all that we're starving. So I made up a little lunch for us. Rice in the sausage. Look how good that looks. We got the hot sausage, so it makes the rice a little bit spicy. Yum.